So talk to us now about um, something that is really big. Um, big for the sport. Uh, big for the... Big, obviously, for the... I always say the, the thing that leads the heavyweight, if, if the, the head of the snake, if you will, of, the, of boxing is always the heavyweight division. If that's doing well, usually the rest of the sport is following in a pretty, a pretty good stream, a pretty, pretty yes. good path. And um, so talk about, to the point that you can, I know some of you can't completely divulge, but talk about what we can look forward to as a massive uh, uh, happening that's going to be happening. I can't divulge anything that's going on at the moment, but all I can say to you is that if if you had a Christmas wish list that you want what a fight that you wanted to see in the heavyweight division, um, it could very very well happen. I mean, what would your wish list be? What would your wish list be? My Christmas list would be to see number one. Tyson Fury, the heavyweight champion of the world, in with the other heavyweight champion of the world, Usyk. That would be my Christmas wish. I mean, the uh, uh, the second one would be uh, no. If I was from there across no the pond, second. Uh, if I was from across the pond, if I was across the pond. Um, Ken Ken has learned from me very, very well, good, as you can see. Um, he's he 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 knows what to say, and he's he's right. But I I cover all bases. If I was from across the pond, I would want the Christmas in my stockings probably to be you know you crazy English fans over there. You're crazy in love with your heavyweights and your box, and I appreciate that. I admire that. But it would probably be to see. Fury against Joshua, but the That's one that fair. we really want to see, the one that has to be the most important one for the sport and for the fans is to see the two heavyweight champs get in the ring and come out with one heavyweight champ of the world. So I'm guessing. Can I guess at those? Yeah, you can guess. And, and this... All I can really tell you, because I've had to sign things to say I'm not allowed to disclose any of this, so I, I can't, literally can't, but I'm going to say this, that the, the Saudis, again, is excellently Turk our shape, will make everybody's Christmas come true. That's what I can say. <laughs> well, hey, Spencer. Good. Spencer, do you watch wrestling? Uh, a little bit. Not too much. You know, you know the Rock. So I just want to premise this, preface this by saying I'm just quoting the Rock here. But I would say, hey, what do you think is the second best fight? It doesn't matter what you think the second best fight is. The only one that matters is Fury against Usyk. That's what everybody wants. The rest of it we can sort out later. We are wait, working hard to make everybody's Christmas come true. Right? They Tyson calls me the Snowman, so hopefully I can I can help with that. And I've got the shade of Harvard Christmas anyway, so let's hope I can definitely get you the present you wanted. Well, you've done a good job so far, and obviously you're you're very it's very nice to talk to you. Like like all the like the furies that you that you represent, um, that you're friends with, and you also represent as a manager. You're a fun guy to talk to, a nice guy to talk to. Um, you you all present yourselves as the most important thing you can present yourself as, a decent person, a person that you enjoy talking to, a person that you walk away saying, you know what, it was nice meeting that bloke. I use that term because that's, that's from across the pond. We're, we're massive, we're massive, massive followers of yours and Ken. Can't keep our eyes off you. Um, and you, your name in England and probably across the world is fantastic. So I take my hat off to the pair of you. Keep doing what you're doing. And hopefully I can come back someday or one day soon and we can talk again. Yeah, Spence, the next time you come on after this payday in Saudi Arabia, I'll expect to see you with an Automair Pegay on both arms. <laughs> yeah. Thank you very much. I'll bring you some pictures back. <laughs> I want to come over. Please do. <laughs>
I don't think you need this payday to get that if you chose to get that. I think you I think you're doing pretty good already, Spencer. But um God bless you. God bless the pair of you. Thank you. Thank you for having me on. And tell Tyson congratulations on his uh the latest addition to his family. Thank you very much, boys. All the best. Thanks, Spence. God bless. All right, Teddy, that was fascinating with uh, Spencer. Sounds like we may get our dream fight of a, a unified heavyweight champ. Man, what a uh, what a treat that would be to see the best two guys fighting each other, one man owning all the belts. Um, great job getting that lined up, Teddy. Yeah, well, you heard it here first. If, if, if it comes true, if it comes true that that's what it is, you know, he of course he's he is uh, under under strict obligation where he can't talk about or can't formally you know say it under but gag order he gave us enough yeah under gag order so to speak but he's i think he said enough um and i appreciate that he wanted to say it here on our podcast because he feels that obviously that we get traction and we get people listening to us and the right people listening to us and that he gave us that kind of uh, acknowledgement, that kind of respect uh, to want to talk about it, to want to talk about it here, and also to talk about the Nganyu fight, which I, I think it could be a fly in the ointment. I really do, that if they don't take that serious, you know, I know it's an event, I know it's a money grab, I get it, uh, and it's titled a so-called exhibition, but when that bell rings, the only thing exhibition is going to be the name of it. There, there's... Uh, they're trying to hurt each other. They're trying to catch, especially in Ganyu. I mean, there'd be no quick, uh, you know, ticket to stardom uh, than than to knock out the heavyweight champ of the world. I mean, there's nothing that could suddenly put him in. You talk about a demanding position. You talk about a powerful. You talk about the throne uh, and sitting on the throne. Uh, that that would be basically. Huh, uh, that would that would be one of the the greatest uh, upsets. It would be a, it would get news everywhere around the world, obviously, and it would be tantamount to a a government having a coup done on it, where suddenly one day somebody's sitting. I used <laughs> the the word f f thrown. Somebody's sitting in the top chair one day, and then bang! All of a sudden, he ain't in the top chair. You got somebody out of nowhere that has made a complete uh, overrun of the government, uh, if you will, uh, the government of boxing, the government of heavyweight boxing, even though he's not a boxer. So, uh, like I said, like we talked about on the, on the interview, he better be taking them serious. He better be taking them serious because Nganyu's taking it serious. And, and he's looking at it the way you should look at it. Like, We'll call it whatever you want to call it, exhibition, money grab. But when I go and put my right hand on his chin and I knock him out, I'm going to be the man. <laughs>